Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Miner. This is video number two of a three video series for Black Friday. The Stamps of Life is having a huge sale and so I am showing off some of the products and some cards that I have made using some of the items that they have on their Get It All Bundle Special. So these cards, I have used the Glitzy Gatefold card die and I love this die. I love gatefolds but this I think is one of my favorite gatefolds that they've released. I just think it's so versatile and you get so many dies with it. So I just think that these are so cute and I have actually made belly bands so I don't know if you can see that. Oh I got this one on kind of tight there. But you can see like this one, this one slides off a little easier. And so these are just belly bands that go on the cards. And so I'm going to show you how to make those today. And so let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started making the cards, let me show you all the dies that you get. So you get the base card die, and then you're going to get your layering dies. So you get your standard like A2 layering die. You get the layering dies for each side of the gatefold. So you get both of these pieces. And then you're also going to get all of these drop-ins. So let me move this up so you can see all the drop-ins. So you get this beautiful flower. So with this flower die, this is how I made this one right here. I used this drop-in. So let me set that to the side. And then you get this drop-in here. And this just makes like the dots. So the sample that I've made with the dots, you can see right here. And then you get this flower die, and I did just a tone on tone. So that's this sample right here. I love this one. I just think this is so elegant. And then I didn't create a sample with this one, but then you get this one with like these fun swirls. So you get lots of dies, so it's just so many different cards that you can create. And then also, not using any of the drop-ins, that's where I created these two. I just use the regular, like the side dies on it to create, just to cut out my pattern paper. And then I created my belly band. So this one, again, this is just the pattern paper on the sides. And then this one, I put a big die cut on the belly band that moves up and down. So let me move this to the side and we're gonna make a card. So to get started, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create the base of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my die cut machine. Now, if you're a little strategic about this, you can also leave enough room on your cardstock to create the belly band. And all you're gonna need is to trim off one inch on the long side, the 11 inch sheet of paper. You're just gonna trim off one inch of that to create your belly band. Now I've trimmed off one inch on um, the green apple cardstock. I have the kiwi here for my base, but I have um, one inch in the green apple that I'm gonna create my belly band today. But I just wanted to show you if you're making several cards, that you can, you can, if you scoot this die over enough, you can create your belly band out of the card base car, sheet of cardstock. So let me run this through my machine and I'll be right back. All right, now that I have my card base, I'm just gonna fold in my edges. And then to create my belly band, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one inch strip and I'm gonna center it around my card. And then I'm just gonna kind of fold these in from side to side. And I'm just gonna fold them in and then just give it a good press. And I'm not gonna glue this down yet, I'm just gonna crease these. So I know where that's gonna be. And I'm just gonna set this to the side for the moment until I get my panels ready. All right, so the paper that I want to use today, I'm gonna to be bringing in this new paper pad 
This is called the Christmas Fun Collection. And this is a newer paper pad. I believe it's still available on the Stamps of Life website. And the paper that I want to bring in, I think these trees would look really nice. So I'm gonna bring in a sheet of this. And I'm just gonna bring in one of my panels. So I'm gonna bring in one of the panel dies. And so I think I wanna use this one. So I'm gonna grab a little strip of my washi tape and I'm going to put a little bit of washi. I'm going to line this up and just put a little bit of washi where I want those trees. Okay. And then for the other side, I think I want to bring in the dots. So I think I want to do the dots. And I want to bring in a little sheet of the strawberry cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of washi on the dots. And I'm going to get the outside die. And I'm going to, this since this is a drop in, and I'm going to layer these two together. So I'm going to tape these two down and I'm going to run these two through my die cut machine and I'll be right back with all of my pieces. Okay, I have my two panels cut and before I adhere my panels to my card base, I do want to ink the edges and so I'm going to bring in some ink. And so I do want to bring in my kiwi and my strawberry ink. So there's the strawberry and the kiwi ink. So let me put a little kiwi ink around the edges just to give it a little extra added interest and dimension. Here we go. Okay, I think that looks good. And then Let's do the same thing with the strawberry ink. Looks like one little, one little spot didn't poke out. All right, that looks good. All right, I'll set those to the side and let me go ahead and adhere these panels to our card base. Then I'm going to go ahead and make my belly band. So to make the belly band again, we already have it creased. And so now I'm just going to lay it on here and I am going to go ahead and crisscross it and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And I'm just going to fold it over. So that way the belly band stays closed. And I'm not gluing it to the card, I'm just gluing the belly band closed. And then I wanna bring in a stamp set from the Mary Flip It card die set. I really like this Mary. 
And so I've went ahead and cut that out. And then I also have the, let's see, I believe it's called the add-ons. Let me get you the name of it. I have it all stored in this envelope, but let me get you the name of it. I think it's called the Christmas add-ons. And so I have a tree cut out there and this Mary set. So let me bring those in. So I've used the same, I've used uh, the same as for my belly band. I have the green apple and also the strawberry. So I have the word Mary and then I have a little tree cut out. Now I did cut this out with the white shadow and then I've just taken a black marker and went around the edges just so that it gave it a little more interest. I felt like with just the white on there, it was kind of getting lost. And so I think with just adding the white, or excuse me, adding the black, it just helps it to stand out more on my card. And so with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little foam right there to the top of my Mary. So let me get some foam. And I'm going to add foam to the back of my word Mary right here on right here on my belly band. There we go. And then for the Christmas tree, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it straight down to the belly band. And kind of at an angle. There we go. So you can see how, now I could always dress this up. I could add ribbon. I could add some epoxy dots. I could add all kinds of things to really just glitz and glam this up. So I could go ahead and cut a panel for the center um, just to really finish this off. But this was just a quick and easy card using this brand new glitzy gatefold card. So let me bring in the other cards and please leave me a comment down below and let me know which is your favorite. This is the thank you card. I think this one might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I really like all of them. I fish you a great birthday. And I've got this one. And this one I did not create a belly band, but to keep it closed, I've just tied a ribbon. And then I've got this birthday set here. And then for this one, I used the new truck. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which is your favorite. As a reminder, um, the Stamps of Life, they're, they're having a Black Friday sale. There is a Get It All bundle. If you purchase the bundle, which includes all six Black Friday items, you will receive a free gift it's a $14.95 value. Um, it includes a magic gift card, a love bug fold it, a limited edition circle edge A2 card, the glitzy gatefold card, the candy holder plastic shells, the candy holder die set. And that is the Black Friday Get It All bundle. So I have videos on my channel linked below. This is the glitzy gatefold card. I have the candy holder die set linked, and then I also have the limited edition Circle Edge A2 card linked. So if you'd like to see those products, um, be sure to check out those other videos. Also be sure to check out the Stamps of Life website to see all of the great deals that they have going on. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my crafting videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. 
Bye-bye.